Hello IL2. Today we're going to do a shorter video and to the point on how to use IDCP's Alpha Channel PSD. So what I want you to do is take the time to pause the video, get your skin, and load the Alpha Channel PSD together just like I have them up here. And unpause the video when you're ready and pause it now. Okay, I assume you're back. So what do we have here? We have an aircraft we painted. We have yellow paint, red paint. We have black paint for the ID. And we have the, the blue paint. These are the national insignias. You know, we have the uh, low visibility white, the high visibility white there also. We also have the aluminum lacquer over the wings and the parts that would be filled in with putty. Typically, although they're not filled in here, you can still see the panel lines through. But we're not gonna do that today. So, we have to determine what is going to be the same glossiness or reflectivity or shininess, however you choose to interpret, on the skin. This video, if you're veterans, is probably not for you. You probably already know what you're doing. This is more for the, the new skinner, so I'm going to take my time with the steps here. So, step one, I've already done this. I should have did it and showed you. I've grouped together my serial and code and my Virginia Ann script. And then I've also grouped together the red and the yellow paint. Now, we don't need an anti-glare because it's already in the alpha. So we just turn that on. Let's turn off our prop hubs because ours are going to be different. Uh, paint here, we can delete that. You know, we don't really need it. Wing filler. Uh, oh. Let's take it off because we're not done. Not saying his skin is wrong, but he already did so much work for us. I'm not going to hit him on anything, but usually you wouldn't see all these lines in there and filled. And if I can, I'll find the pictures and post them online. Anyway, so we have an anti glare on. We took out the wing filler. Uh, bare metal. Turn it off there. It gets darker. Turn it on. It gets lighter. So let's make it a little darker because we want the aluminum to look. A little more weathered so here the darker you go from black to white determines how shiny black being like the most matte finish you can get it probably doesn't even give you fresnel effects in the game it probably looks really odd but we're not going to go that black okay we're going to stay in the gray zone you can see up here i've already done that so what i want you to pay attention to See how he's got this here, but you also notice the scratches and the weathering's coming through. That's what we want. Before in my alphas, I was just painting this a solid color in the actual file. I was going to channels after I'd already like did this. Like I did marching ants, I went to channel, and then I clicked the channel and I started painting like like this, like solid colors. So that doesn't look good at all. It doesn't let the weathering translate through. It looks too perfect. So. Let's press Control D to get rid of that. And whoever taught me that, thank you. So let's uh, delete this alpha because we're going to change it. Layers, go back to alpha. So let's zoom back out again. Now let's grab our layer. So we're going to grab our red and yellow paint first. Highlight the layer, just press Control C, and that copies the name of the layer also. So here, we are going to do what's called a shift control V that is paste in place. Shift control V. See how I put it right where it was in the other thing, the other uh, file. Uh, some of you new guys probably have pasted and it went like off center and where you didn't want it. So this, this is still in color, I know. Let's grab our serial and code, copy back here and we're going to paste that above this one so we'll keep this highlighted shift control v so there now what we're going to do click on this layer go new layer click on the layer thumbnail right there like hover press control left click marching ants now you can turn this one off now the information is still there because we have our ants see where it says layer one the layer corrected yep yeah, created that's the one you want, but how glossy do we need to make this? What level of gray do we need? 
Well, fortunately, IDCP has made this easy for us. He has blue nose already done here for the people who well, I'm sure no doubt want to make all the blue nose bastards of Botany Bay. Let's turn his on. This is dark gray, but it's not like, you know, intense. Well, let's turn off the weather and you see how gray. It's just as gray as his anti glare, but this is kind of my plane, so I, I want mine to be a little bit more glossy. So I got a gray here I've already used, so let me press B. And you want your brush to be kind of big and you want to just go over. So I made that one kind of dark. So that's going to be just as matte as the anti glare. That's not what I want. So for this lighter one, back and did. That's probably a little too much. So let's try it again. There we go. That's what we want. So you can tell I've already done this. I just didn't save it in the swatches. And I don't know why this is like this. They just did that after the update. They just did. Control D to unselect. You can see the difference here. A little bit, little bit more glossy. I want you to see this as glossy and matte. When you see these gray colors, this is glossier or more reflective than this part. So that's okay. Now let's go to our serial and code and we're going to click on that, make a new layer. We're going to turn it off. It doesn't matter if it's off. You just control click the layer thumbnail. Make sure your layer two is selected. Press B. And now we're going to use the same, I want to say gray is that. So let's press I. Select somewhere where it's open and no rivet holes are at. Make sure your layer is still selected. Always make sure it's still selected. Press B again, and we're just going to go outside the canvas. So we're getting it all up in there. Control D. There, that's done. So this is going to look really damn good when I'm done with it. So we got our red tips in, paint, the serial code. Now, this Virginia Ann will probably be in real life just as shiny as the yellow, but I did this to give it an effect of an additional layer of paint over the yellow so when it reflects in the sun it'll it'll give you that and they might have used the same black that's lying around that they did the b7m or bravo 7 mic in anyway the red outlines on the end are probably picked up from something glossy like the wing test which is i could have went in and did those those uh drop shadow things the same color as these two but this is just to show you guys so we got our colored Turned off. Let's turn our weathering back on. So that's good. So there we look nice. That looks beautiful. Now the question the new skinners are probably asking, well, how the hell do I get this over to my alpha? Well, this is how the hell you do it. Any layer selected doesn't matter. I want you to right click. I want you to pick flatten image. Click OK. I want you to untick the lock. I want you to hover over the layer thumbnail. I want you to hold down control. Left click. Hover over here somewhere. And then I want you to press Control C. Then I want you to go back to your uh, file. So let's go back. Now I want you to click your channels tab. I want you to go down here to the plus. Now I want you to create new channel. Oh snap, it's black. That means nothing will show up or it'll be really, really opaque. So let's press Shift Control V to paste in place. Now we have our perfect alpha there. Let's control D to unselect. Control D to unselect. Say it twice in case you're, you're trying to keep up here. Now let's click on the RGB layer of the channels. Turn everything back on. Let's go to layers. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a DDS and I'm going to pause the video and we're going to, the video is going to pick up as soon as I have the uh, skin viewer open. So let's pause. Okay, guys, so we're back in the skin viewer looking at a beautiful red tail here. Lolly poop. Can't believe this actually existed. <laughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, to get to my point here, you guys see how the weathering is transferring through. I can't really see it too much here. I think they use black, black for this. I used a different color black, but right here you can see it coming through. And see the aircraft skin, how it looks, you know, kind of natural aluminum and chrome like it hasn't been anywhere yet. It almost looks like a new plane. 
that's why we changed the skin in ours darker so it looks like it's been out there longer and notice the red how it's got the kind of a semi gloss to it like it's weathered now anything that's ID stripe related is going to be real matte like that just like the lettering would be here and same thing with the anti glare anything that's like red or any kind of ID is going to be you know it's going to be a different color but you can see the canopy changes the color of the uh, in real life. That's pretty neat how they simulated that. So let's go to our skin. So I got Sweet Thing 45 in Virginia. And so my yellow is kind of, you can see mine. See how the skin looks a little different now? It's still natural aluminum, but it looks like it's been out there. Like it's still a little shiny, but not too shiny. And look at my black compared to the the base game that's a lot more of those things come through but that's that's all i wanted to do guys to show you that i uh, hope you like the video and if you want to stick around for a few seconds i'll show you how i got my scene to look like this so you guys may have noticed that sometimes when you turn the light on it's, it's like really dark and all that turn the light off real quick it looks like that you turn it on i select ambient and i change the color i double click right here Change it to a more sunlight-esque kind of look. I'll go ahead and put it here. And then what we're really going to do is we're going to watch this thing and animate a light to see how good we do. So we click animated. We'll press play. We'll press play animation. And we'll see just how good our skin came out. See what it looks like. So look at that. See the shine on the yellow? That's a little more reflective than the uh, anti-glare. And you see the rudder, look at how semi-gloss the red paint is when it goes back when the light comes. See that? That's what I'm getting at. And look at how shiny the aluminum is on the fuselage. It's just reflecting the light and it's not being like a mirror acting like a mirror. So yep, hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see other tutorials, you want to see a full skin tutorial, I can do that. Um, those I've done one before but for cars I kind of do those off the cuff so it's going to be pretty long this isn't a quick five minute job you could do. all right uh, let me know in the comments what you want to see or pm me on the il2 forums it's uh 361 st or specter 76 spektre 76 that's how you find me uh, incidentally, I'm also the one who created all of the career emblems for you guys, too. I've done, <laughs> oh God, all together for the game, about 200 plus. Take it easy, boys.